Okay, so let's get you started on some percent yield problems. Um, basically, these problems are going to fall into uh, two different kinds. We're going to go all the way through the problems, just as we did in the last set of homework problems. Uh, but then we got one extra step to figure out the percent yield. Now, one kind of problem will have something like this here and excess O2. So we know that if we see that in our problem, then we don't have to worry about the limiting reagent. On the other hand, the other kind of problem will have gram amounts for both of the reactants. And so in that case, we will need to do the limiting reactant before we can find out how much is produced and therefore um, what the percent yield will be from that. So uh, as I said in this first one, uh, since we have excess O2, we have 3.74 grams of sodium. We want to know how much is produced, or at least how much we would expect to produce, and then we'll use this amount to figure out the percent yield. This, of course, is the recovered part. So, first off, 3.74 grams uh, times one mole over 23 grams. So this will be our step one, go to moles. Okay, and that'll be uh, 0 0.163 moles of sodium. Okay, so that's our step one. Uh, step two, now we use the mole ratio. Uh, and so the mole ratio in this case, uh, since we don't have to worry about limiting, we'll use the one here and the two. So it'll be question mark on top. So we'll do our times one over two for our mole ratio. And that'll give us uh, 0 0.0813 uh, moles of Na2O2 produced. So again, the mole ratio, that's our, our second step. Now we need to go back into grams. So we'll use our 0 0.0813 moles times it's 78 grams for Na2O2, 78 grams per one mole, which gives us uh, 6.34 grams of Na2O2 uh, produced. And actually that's the expected production. Okay, now we didn't actually get that much we got just the 5.34 so if we do the 5.34 grams over the 6.34 grams times the 100 percent and we end up with 84.2 percent for our percent yield and so here is our answer at the end. So again, because we had excess, we could just go right through the three steps of stoichiometry, go to moles, mole ratio, go back to grams. Then once we know how much we were expected to make, we could take what was recovered, divided by what was um, expected times 100 to get our uh, percent. So 84.2%. And again, just to remind, percent yield is amount uh, recovered over amount expected, and then times the 100%. And oh, by the way, the smaller one should always be on top. You should not end up with more actually produced than 
uh, mathematically was possible. That would be a good sign that uh, there was a mistake. All right, so that's an example when you have and excess. Now we'll have one in which we have two different ones. So we've got that extra step of which is limiting. So we have 6.92 grams of potassium. We have 4.28 grams of O2. And we want to know how much potassium oxide will actually be produced. So uh, first put them both into moles. 6.92 grams times one mole over 39 grams gives me 0 0.177 moles of potassium. 4.28 grams times one mole over 32 grams gives me 0 0.134 moles of O2. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take uh, the potassium. We're going to do our uh, figure out which one's limiting, 0.177 moles times the mole ratio between these two. Uh, Again, when nothing's in front, it's a 1. So we're going to start off with the potassium, try to figure out how much O2 we would need. So the mole ratio is 1 over 4. And the 0.177 divided by 4 would say that we need 0 uh, 0.0443 moles of O2 needed. Now uh, we have 0.134 so we have enough. So that means the other one in this case the potassium is limiting. So the potassium is the one we'll use to figure out how much potassium oxide we actually make. So we're already in moles for our potassium, 0 0.0177 moles. Okay, now we're going to do the mole ratio between the potassium oxide and the potassium. So that's 2 over 4 for our mole ratio. And then we need to go back to grams. And so for potassium oxide, it's 94 grams per one mole. And so that ends up being uh, 8.34 uh, grams of uh, K2O uh, produced. And again, that's the expected amount over here this was the recovered they're always going to tell us the recovered one in these problems so the percent yield will be the uh, 7.36 grams over the 8.34 grams times 100 and this one comes out to 88 0.2%. So, one problem in which uh, you didn't have to worry about a limiting reactant and the other problem that you did. So make sure as you're going through the rest of the problems to c finish your homework that when you see it say excess, then you know you don't have to worry about limiting reagent. But when you see that there are two amounts, uh, then you probably do have to figure out which one is um, the limiting reagent. That's the one that you use then, like we did. We found out K was limiting, so that was the one that we used. The mole ratio, question mark on top, what we started with on the bottom. And again, the mole ratio is always made of the coefficients in front of our different parts. And then we've got to go back to grams. 
What we'll find here is what we expect to find. We take what we actually recovered divided by what we uh, expect times 100 and we have our percent yield.